Yo, what's poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. Let me have about two seconds of your time. I kind of wanted to speak on something for a second. If you guys have been having a hard time catching fish, if you guys have been going out, you know, this whole year and you just can't seem to catch bass, I just want to send out a simple message is don't give up guys. Keep doing your thing. Keep trying to catch fish. Keep adapting. More importantly, watch a lot of the videos that I'm posting because I... <laughs> I add so many tips in there guys that I promise will help you. I'm about to start making a ton of tip videos so if you could leave some tip video suggestions in the comment section below and get this video to 5k likes baby. I know we can do it if you guys want to see some videos like that. But without further ado, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below some tip video ideas and today I have a banger for you guys. Let's go ahead and go to the store really fast, grab the bait and go fishing. Oh by the way, you guys gotta have your big bass energy boys. I know you guys have been trying man but big Bass Energy hashtag it below every fishing video you guys watch the rest of this year. It better say hashtag Big Bass Energy hashtag Team KTBTV. We're creating a movement, man. If you got that Big Bass Energy, it's gonna happen. Keep pushing towards your dreams, guys. Keep trying to fish and keep grinding out there. Let's get it. I know you guys know what type of video this is just by the title. So I ended up going to Dick's Sporting Goods, and this is what I saw. We have the spider. They have them in stock. I was kind of worried about it, and they have three different colors, man. They got. The white one right here, they have one that's kind of like black with a little bit of brown on it. And then they have like a black widow. It's black with a little bit of red on there. Man, all of these look really good. I don't know which one to get, man. I'm, I'm kind of, I really like this one, but then again, I kind of want to go with either like a black or a white. You guys remember that? Remember that right there? That's where we're going today, where we fish with the snake and the rat. Old snake, they got a little green one. That's the one that I fished with. They also got a black one. But man, all right, back to the spiders. Let's see. I think we're gonna get two, matter of fact. They have many of different options. I ended up picking two. I could not resist, and these are the two spiders that I got for today's video. All right, so this is what I got. As you guys can tell right there, let's get a little focus going in. I got a black spider right there. This is actually like a little black widow. It's black all around the body, and then you actually have a little red dot right there at the back that thing looks freaking sweet now let's see the second one that i got which is a white spider right here it's pretty much white around the whole thing and then it's got a little bit of black markings around it so i got two polar opposite colors usually when i throw top water majority majority of the time it's like when i throw a frog i usually stick to the basics man i usually go with two simple colors either black or white um, yes, I go to some of the natural colors. Yes, you guys know about the pop and pickle, but you know, I usually go with either a black and white. So today that's what we're gonna be doing. I am actually going to start off with the black spider. I think we're starting off with the black spider. I, I, I just feel it, man, I feel it. Let me know in the comment section below which spider you like better, either the white or the black. Leave it down below. I am curious, but we're gonna be starting with the black widow today. I'm gonna be pairing it up on this old bright red. Old bright red mock smash right here. I'm excited about this. I have not used this thing yet. I'm leaving it at that. I actually rigged it up a braid. I put brand new 65 pound braid on this bad boy and he is ready to rock and roll. I was not about to go down to this swamp without some braid on. Okay, let's see the old Black Widow spider up close and personal, man. This is the first time review, first time seeing it and I'm excited. Oh, you little creepy boy. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, snap, dude. I, this, this is the stuff that I love, man. I love just using wacky baits like this. It's just cool, man. And this match is perfect with this mock smash. That's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to start off with the black one, man. And the black widow with the red on him and uh, with the red rod. Man, this thing's kind of creepy to be fair with you. Look at him, little, little wiggly guy. Look at him. Kind of looks a little real. Look at that. So here is the black widow spider up close and personal dude look at his little legs tingling bro this thing looks real man it's kind of freaking me out i'm not afraid of spiders though i'm afraid of snakes uh but man dude look at that look at his arms just tingling man this thing is honestly so realistic i'm excited to use it look at the look at the con look at this pair up man god look at that pair up we are getting ready to rock and roll with this bad boy we're probably gonna whip out the white one while we're down there but you never know what's gonna happen i could always break off something stupid could happen that is the main reason why i had to buy two but then again i mean there's just there's a couple juicy colors man we had to get a variety but let's go ahead and tie this bad boy on my rod if you guys are wondering like i said 65 pound braid and get out to the swamp one thing i would like to say before i tie this thing on guys this thing is big this is a giant spider like let's be real here 
like when you think of a spider you don't think of something this big like almost like a little tarantula or something i mean this is a freaking giant man and i love giant bait so giant spider is gonna go kill him. as you guys can tell this is the beautiful swamp that we're at today i purposely chose to come here at nighttime in the last like hour to hour and a half of the day just because of how fish have been acting and i want to see if i can get a topwater bite and the spider is looking juicy and it is ready to get munched we're going to be targeting mudfish bass and gar i don't know if there's anything else in here but i know there's a ton of big bass mudfish and gar in here and we're going to try to catch them today so let's go ahead and get after it all right here is the old spider lure we're giving it a shot gosh this is crazy it's actually very light this is going to be one of the first things is figuring out the casting on this thing Let's see doesn't help Ooh. Ooh. oh oh my god first time i've even casted this combo too that was that was pretty good man I, I tried to set it up but it was so light i couldn't really tell we are crawling this spider through the slot man this i would not want to fish this bait anywhere else but here Last time we came here, we came here with a snake and a rat and we caught some gar and mudfish, but there is big bass in here because I've caught them before not filming a video because I was testing out the spot and I caught them in an area where this leaks in as well. So guys, there are big fish in here and I am so excited to try to hook one on the spider. Look at that thing in the water. Oh my gosh. Look, you, you, I don't know if you guys, how good you can see it just popping that thing through all that slop just looks so good oh my gosh bad thing about this i can't flip it too well so i'm fishing some nasty dirty stuff man and to say the least it is going through it very well man very very well i'm not getting a bunch of grass on it um, but i am curious about the hookup ratio especially with that being a fairly small hook on here Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am pretty sure there was something behind me right there. Oh God, look at that. Oh my God, I got stuff on my, right when I was talking about it, I think I jinxed myself. There's a, there's a big boil. Something just ate something over here. Oh my gosh, that cast was perfect. Get ready, get ready. Oh my gosh. Right there. Oh. Oh no, he had it. Oh. Oh man, I, I hooked that way too early. I can't see, one, the sun is beaming me in the eyes. And two, I just kind of heard him eat it and I kind of lifted up to make sure. I don't know what that was. I'm assuming it wasn't a bass, the way he hit it. All right, we did this last time. We're about to get reckless. We're going to stand up uh, on this bridge cast it over in that slot. This thing looks so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Duty. He's, dude, he's still hitting it. He's still hitting it. Come on. I don't know what that was. He hit it twice. I'm throwing it back in there. We're gonna reel it up. All right, we got some grass on here. Dang, man, he hit it twice. He hit it freaking twice. Oh. Come on, man, I just wanted to. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, huge wake, huge wake. I started reeling it through the grass and it, it, just the biggest wake I've seen in such a long time. Ugh. All right, we're gonna let this fish cool down for a second. We're actually gonna move spots. Actually, we're gonna go on this side and try to throw under the bridge, see if we can get any predators that are hiding under there that would eat this spider. One thing I forgot to say is in this swamp, these fish love to come up and eat a bunch of the bugs on top of the water. There's a bunch of small little bait fish that are swimming around as well, but I have noticed that since fishing out here. So let's go ahead and relocate to the other side of the bridge. All right, so 
this is where they were biting literally right in front of us we're gonna try not to walk up on the bank that's one thing you guys want to think about don't walk up on the fish you might spook them so we're gonna start flipping a little far back gosh this place is kind of creepy man i'm like peeking peeking to make sure it ain't not scary under there oh look oh, did you see that did you guys see that barely walking them you see that barely moving them just kind of hopping them at the top of the water to make the fish know that his presence is there catch you guys in the morning so yesterday i left you guys off at the swamp i said we're going to be coming back this next day but guess what i have a surprise for you guys we're going to try something different i had some spark in my brain i was like man i don't really want to go back to the swamp right now we're going to be fishing the spider in some drain pipes at some of these ponds around here i'm going to flash back a clip right now Here we go, we inside the... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy crap, I'm shaking. He destroyed it so hard inside of that pipe. I've never seen a fish aggressively attack a frog. Like that, my look at me shaking. We're gonna see if we can throw the spider in the same exact pipe and get the same little reaction that we did with the pop and pickle that time. Let's go ahead and give it a shot, grab our spider, and hopefully catch a big bass. So there the drain pipe is right there. We're gonna be casting the spider in there. By the way, I didn't notice it until now, but yesterday when we had those bites, we actually ended up losing a leg on the spider. We have four on the left side and three on the right. I think that's all right. It'll be okay. My biggest concern with casting the spider in that pipe is that this thing's very light and it's going to be super hard to get the accuracy down, but we're going to make it happen. Let's go ahead and cast it in there, see if we can catch a big bass. I didn't really get to see how good the spider looks. There was so much vegetation in the swamp that we were in. Now that I'm kind of getting to see it, man, this thing looks really great. Oh, there's a fish. I'm pretty sure there's a fish right under me. All right, this thing's so light. It's going to be hard. Here we go. Oh, bear. That was horrible. I'm telling you, it's hard to cast this thing. Golly, look at this. I ain't used to seeing Noah cast like this. Oh my gosh, I'm all the way in the back. All the way in the back. Probably five foot in that pipe. Mainly going to be playing off a, a noise right here. I can't even see it. Come on. Ooh, I had one. I had one. Holy crap, I had one. Guys, I... He swam out. I'm pretty sure he just swam out. I never heard anything. He just slurped it down and was running with it. That was so weird. I actually had him. I hope he didn't swim out. No. It's mainly where I want to work it. The shade. Oh my God. Dude, what? What? Wait. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Dude, look at him choke it. Oh my gosh. I didn't even move it, bro. I didn't even move it. It hit the water and the sucker just gulped it down. And he choked it too. Look at that. Perfect. Look at the hookup. It was literally perfect on this little thing. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, buddy. This is my first ever Black Widow spider bass. He is not much. But let me tell you, that just makes me happy, man. I don't care the size of the fish. To catch something on a spider like that, that is awesome. And look at the beautiful colors on that one. Thank you for biting, buddy. Get you back in the water. There he goes. Oh, that was sweet. That was so cool, man. First ever bass on the spider lure. Right when I hooked at him, he just went flying out of the water. He was so small. Well, dang. A big one shouldn't have a problem eating this thing if something that small. Unless I just spooked him. Yeah, that could totally be a just a just a dumb deal that just happened like i just kind of spooked the fish you guys have made it to the giveaway portion of today's video if you guys are wondering how to enter oh by the way here's the last giveaway winner right here be sure to message me on my personal instagram at noah pescatelli to claim your prize but to enter in the spider giveaway all you have to do is leave a like on this video come on guys let's get this video to 10,000 likes i know we can do it the kick in the bass tv family strong and i know we can make it happen also hit the like button on this video and hit the notification bell and that is it thank you guys so much for entering this thing and i'll catch you guys in the video Gosh!
Dude. Dude. That is... So... Alright, that... Alright, alright, alright. I've been sleeping on the spider, man. I've been sleeping on the spider. But something about that bite. Something about that bite, man. With his little legs hanging out of their mouth. Dude, they choke this thing, too. Oh, my gosh. That was kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. I got him in the bottom. He ain't big. I, like I said, man. <laughs> I don't care as long as I can catch some on the spider. That was so cool. Like, the ones that have it eaten it, though. He's bleeding a little bit. Let me get him back. Toss you. There he goes. Oh, gosh. Come on, now. Black spider white spider if you made it this far in the video you haven't entered the giveaway i randomly put it throughout the video so go check it out man i'm kind of disappointed in the spider but at the same time i kind of like it since this video is over a weird lure i think it is my right to make a little in-depth conclusion to the old spider man guys this was a tough video this is probably the hardest challenge i've done yet and to be honest with you, if I would have brought this to probably some different places, then I might have got some more bites. I only caught two fish today. Yesterday, last night, I got a lot of bites in the swamp. But it was just brutal, and I don't have any more time to fish with this thing. Sadly, I got to get this video up for you guys. But, man, to say the least, it was a cool experience getting to throw a spider lure. More importantly, the old Black Widow. And uh, it was neat, man. These type of videos... I'm not really focused on catching a ton of fish, teaching you guys a ton about, you know, how to catch more fish, how to catch bigger bass. These videos are more based on the lure, you know, how it works, is it going to catch fish, and if it is a good bait, and if it is worth buying. So, at the end of the day, it was a fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys could, smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.